so hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you welcome back once again to another class of pib 247 in today's class guys we will be talking about the pib news from 4th to 5th of june 2023 and i hope the preparations for the upcoming examinations are going well before guys we start with the session uh, in the uh, yesterday i made a video on rbi grade b salary in that uh, uh, video I just said कि अगर नौकरी होगी तो सुंदर कन्या मिलेगी और वगैरह वगैरह सो सम पीपल गॉट अफेंडेड बाई दिस थिंग एंड दे वो सेंग दैट आई वॉज ऑब्जेक्टिफाइंग वुमेन एंड गर्ल्स सो आई वॉज नॉट इंटेंडेड टू डू दैट अगर आप में से किसी की भावनाओं को ठेस पहुंची है तो आई एम रियली सॉरी वट आई रियली मेंट देर वॉज कि अगर आपके पास नौकरी होगी तो आपके पास सब कुछ मिलेगा एक्चुअली आई मेंट टू से दैट यू विल हैव अ गुड पार्टनर एंड नॉट ओनली दैट सुंदर लड़की ओके so i am extremely sorry agar aapki bhavnaon ko thes pahunchi hai to but i did not mean that okay so let's start with today's class and let's talk about the very first question which says which of the following states have emerged as the top performing state in jal jeevan mission swachh jal se suraksha campaign organized by the ministry of jal shakti which is headed by mr gajendra singh shekhawat right so let's talk about this news and then we will come back to the question again so the question uh, the news is swachh jal se suraksha campaign swachh jal se suraksha campaign has been launched has been organized by the ministry of jal shakti now this campaign was organized to ensure the water quality in all the villages and also to create awareness among all the panchayati raj institutions and rural communities about the quality of drinking water in their respective villages right this was organized from 2nd of october 2022 and it ended on 31st march 2023 this campaign all right talking more about it so the activities under the campaign to kya kya activities iske andar hui thi the activities included testing of pws sources in all villages for chemical parameters and bacteriological parameters pws is a type of disease is a type of syndrome Which can create physical and psychological disorders among human beings. All right, its full form, etc. Its technical details. Me, jaane ki aapko zarurat nahi hai. You don't have to go into the details of uh, this PWS. And also, water quality testing at all household uh, at the household levels in all the villages. Water quality testing in schools and anganwadi centers. Remedial action taken for contaminated samples and also training of women for water quality testing at village level so all these activities were organized during this campaign and now the ministry of jal shakti has released a progress report on this campaign okay that's why it is again in news remember it ended on 31st of march it ended on 31st of march 2023 and it started on when uh, 2nd of october 2022 you should remember the dates these are important now talking more about it so findings of the progress report ab jo progress report inhone nikali hai uski agar hum baat kare so if we talk about the water quality testing so it has been reported in 5.39 lakh which is approximately 90% of villages for chemical and 4.47 lakh which is approximately 75% villages for bacteriological contamination right drinking water samples were tested in 6.58 lakh 6.58 lakh schools and 7.17 uh, 7.16 lakh anganwadi centers and not only this 2.180 lakh women have been trained these uh, a, a huge number of women were trained from 5.4.59 uh, lakh villages for water quality testing using field level training units all right so this is not it or we has may remedial action has been taken for 90.3 for approximately 90% of contaminated sample reported and yes the very important fact from this report is the best performing state in this area the top 4 are tamil nadu andhra pradesh karnataka and madhya pradesh tamil nadu andhra pradesh karnataka and madhya pradesh were the top 4 best performing state as per this progress report all right i hope this is clear and now let's come back to the question so what will be the correct answer which states are these tamil nadu karnataka andhra pradesh and madhya pradesh bihar is not among them so therefore the correct answer will be 1 3 4 and 5 1 3 4 and 5 will be the correct answer let's talk about question number 2 aur aaj ka session thoda sa lamba hai so please apna dhairya banaye rakhe semicolon india program was launched by ministry of electronics and it 
एंड हु इज द मिनिस्टर मिस्टर अश्विनी वैष्णव इज द मिनिस्टर हु इज ऑल्सो द मिनिस्टर ऑफ रेलवे आई होप यू ऑल नो दिस राइट इन डैश विद एन आउटले ऑफ डैश टू डेवलप सेमी कंडक्टर्स एंड डिस्प्ले मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इको सिस्टम इन इंडिया राइट दिस स्कीम इज नथिंग बट दैट पी एल आई स्कीम फॉर सेमी कंडक्टर अब इसको हम क्या बोल रहे हैं सेमी कॉन इंडिया प्रोग्राम ठीक है सेमी कॉन इंडिया प्रोग्राम इसको हम बोलते हैं सो प्लीज डो नॉट गेट कंफ्यूज सो द न्यूज इज दिस मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड आई टी इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी हैज इन्वाइटेड न्यू एप्लीकेशन फॉर सेटिंग अप ऑफ सेमी कंडक्टर फैब्स सेमी कंडक्टर फैब्स and display fabs in india under modified semicon india program so just the name has been changed i think all the provisions are ap- uh, absolutely the same sirf naam badla hai inhone aur kuch bhi change nahi kiya hai the application uh, will remain open till december 2024 and the application need to be submitted through portal of ism that is india semiconductor mission india semiconductor mission ka portal hai wahi pe ja pe ke application submit karni hai right Now talking about this program, so of course, Semicol India program. What will be the objective? To give a boost for production, for development of semiconductor and display fabs, and to give a boost to semiconductor and display manufacturing ecosystem in the country. Right? It was launched in the year 2021 with a total outlay of 76,000 crore. कितना outlay था? 76,000 crores. Right? India Semiconductor Mission has been designated as the nodal agency for implementing this modified Semicon in Semicon India program. All right. Now modified program में uh, incentives की बात करें तो I think ये same ही है कुछ ज़्यादा change हुआ नहीं है. So under it, fiscal incentive of 50% of project cost is available. 50% of the project cost का incentive होगा that is available to companies or joint ventures for setting up of semiconductor fabs. Now for setting up of display fabs, again, incentive of 50% of the project cost will be provided to the companies to the manufacturing units. All right. So that is all about this news. And now let's come back to the question. So it was launched in 2021 with a total outlay of 76,000 crores. 76,000 crores. Right. So therefore, the correct answer will be what? Option C. 2021, 76,000 crores. Moving ahead to question number three. Negotiations for which pillar of Indo-Pacific Economic Framework (IPEF) were concluded during the second in-person IPEF ministerial meeting hosted by US in Detroit? ठीक है ये भी याद रखना ये meeting कहाँ पे हुई है? ठीक है? So this meeting was based on second pillar of IPEF, and I believe you guys know that there are four pillars of IPEF, which are trade, supply chain, clean economy, and fair economy. So there are four pillars of IPEF, right? and india is not a part of uh, pillar 1 that is trade india is not a part of pillar 1 trade so this meeting took place uh, for the for the second pillar that is supply chain theek hai to ipf ke bare mein we have recently discussed i i believe in the month of april i have discussed it i believe in the month of march also we have discussed in detail about it so if you want to know about it you can uh, watch the previous videos or i believe aap log dekh hi rahe honge दो तीन महीने पुरानी है तो दो तीन महीना पुराना तो आपको ऑफ कोर्स देख के जाना ही पड़ेगा फॉर द आरबी गेट बी एग्जाम राइट नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस न्यूज सो नेगोशिएशंस फॉर सप्लाई चेन पिलर टू एग्रीमेंट वर कंक्लूडेड ड्यूरिंग द सेकंड इन पर्सन आईपीईएफ मीटिंग व्हिच वाज कंडक्टेड बाय यूएस इन डिट्रॉइट द ऑब्जेक्टिव वाज टू मेक आईपीईएफ सप्लाई चेन मोर रेजिलिएंट रोबस्ट वेल इंटीग्रेटेड एंड हैसल फ्री and also to contribute towards economic development and progress of the region of the indo pacific region as a whole so as the name says indo pacific economic framework this framework focuses on the indo pacific region kiske upar focus karta hai ye indo pacific region ke upar all right now remember these uh, the partners there are 14 member countries here 14 partner countries here do remember it there are 14 pa- partner countries so 14 partner countries are seeking to make supply chains more resilient robust well integrated hassle free then enhance cooperation for mitigation or effect mitigation of effect of disruptions to better ensure business continuity and improve logistics and connectivity that is also very much required for uh, making the supply chain resilient theek okay? hai promote investments particularly in critical sector and production of key goods so that we can again enhance the supply chain initiatives in the region 
and also enhancing the role of workers through requisite skilling, reskilling, and increasing comparability, uh, compatibility of the skills. All right. You don't have to remember all these things. You don't have to remember all these activities. These are given just for the understanding that actually what they are going to do uh, under this supply chain uh, pillar two of IPEF. Okay. So now let's come back to the question. The correct answer I already told you supply chains option B is the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number four. Which organization under Ministry of Education has launched National Mission for Mentoring and Vicesed in <coughs> National Education Policy 2020? So remember it is NCTE, National Council for Teacher Education. It is National Council for Teacher Education which has organized capacity building workshop for the 60 mentors in New Delhi under the National Mentorship Program. Under the National Mentorship Program, it was organized for 60 teachers in New Delhi. All right. For effective implementation of National Mission for Mentoring, of course, and provide quality professional support to all the teachers there so that they can enhance their mentorship skills and techniques so that they can be, you know, uh, more efficient while delivering their uh, lectures, while delivering their classes to the students, right? Uh, during this uh, uh, capacity building workshop and a web portal, NMM web portal was also launched, which will serve as an interface for conducting successful and effective mentoring sessions for the teachers. Okay. Chale, talking about this national mission for uh, mentoring. So it was, it has been envisaged by the national education policy 2020, and it seeks to create large pool of outstanding professionals and how uh, the government will create this pool of outstanding professionals by giving them the mentorship training. All right. And that is the name of this particular mission. These potential mentors, regardless of the age or position of the mentor and mentee, will contribute towards realizing the 21st century developmental goals of India. You can make use of such sentences in your uh, descriptive answers. And this was launched in pilot mode in 30 schools, 15 uh, Kendra Vidyalayas, 10 Jawahar Navode Vidyalayas and 5 CBSE schools. All right. So that is all guys about it. And which agency is this? It is NCTE. NCTE. Yeah. Option C is the correct answer. Let's talk about question number five then. Which app is being provided to Anganwadi workers for real-time mon monitoring and tracking of all Anganwadi centers, Anganwadi workers, Anganwadi helpers and beneficiaries? Right. This we have discussed in the previous government scheme session as well. The name of the app is Potion Tracker. Right. What is the name of the app? Potion Tracker is the name of the app, which which is uh, being provided to the Anganwadi workers so that they can review the activities of Anganwadi centers, Anganwadi workers, Anganwadi helpers and the beneficiaries as well. What all benefits are being provided to the beneficiaries that can also be tracked through this Potion Tracker app. All right. It enables real time monitoring and tracking of all AWCs, Anganwadi centers, uh, Anganwadi workers and beneficiaries and it also provides complete beneficiary management. What does provide karta aapko? Beneficiary management provide karta hai for pregnant women, lactating mothers, children, adolescent girls and adolescent boys. Right? Now can you tell me the name of that uh, mission which is under Potion Tracker app uh, ko implement kiya ja raha Can you write down in the comment section? और कमेंट सेक्शन में मैंने एक चीज देखी आप लोग आंसर नहीं देते यार पता नहीं क्यों नहीं देते आई डोंट नो व्हाट्स द रीजन बट ठीक है अगर नहीं दे रहे तो नहीं दे रहे व्हाट कैन आई डू चलो आगे चलते हैं द करेक्ट आंसर इज व्हाट क्वेश्चन ट्रैकर ऑप्शन बी लेट्स टॉक अबाउट क्वेश्चन नंबर 6 व्हिच एनवायरमेंटल इंफॉर्मेशन अवेयरनेस कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग एंड लाइवलीहुड प्रोग्राम ईआईएसीपी सेंटर हैज क्रिएटेड अ वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड बाय टेकिंग लाइफ प्लेज लाइफस्टाइल फॉर एनवायरमेंट pledge of over 12.38 lakh people to conserve environment. So a world record has been made by this center, EIACP center and that's why it is in news. This center is the Raipur center. This center is EIACP center Raipur Chhattisgarh which has created a world record by taking life pledge of more than 12 lakh, 12.38 lakh to be uh, precise people to conserve environment. 
and of course this pledge has been uh, taken so that we all can conserve the environment theek hai ji under the life campaign lifestyle for environment now talking about eia cp this program the objective is to uh, drive is to inculcate the positive changes and foster a sustainable future for all by focusing on education and empowerment of course this education we are talking about environmental education yahan pe hum kiski baat kar rahe hain environmental education ki baat kar rahe hain it is a central sector sub scheme aligned with the mission life initiative and actually it is a revamp it is a restructured form of envis it is a restructured form of what envis which is nothing but environmental information system environmental information system which was launched way back in the year 1983 1983 mein jo ki pehle launch hua tha as an environmental action plan right and it is a dedicate it is dedicated to raise awareness building capacity and promoting sustainable actions among individuals and communities across india regarding environmental conservation right so this is all about eiacp i hope it is clear and now let's come back to the question the correct answer will be option c raipur raipur is the correct answer let's talk about question number okay yeah this ye chhota sa chhut gaya hai ye padh lena aap log pdf se this uh, program serves as a one stop platform for dissemination of environmental information for informed policy formulation on various uh, aspects of environment facilitation of alternate livelihoods through green skilling right green skilling ka matlab kya hai what is the meaning of green skilling here so to give to provide skill development in the area of environmental con con uh, con conservation so that the people can generate their own livelihood uh, opportunities or livelihood uh, opportunities in the area of environmental conservation all right so question number 7 National Academy of Direct Access Nagpur in collaboration with South Center organized India G20 South Center event on international taxation to deliberate on two pillar solution on the taxation of the digital economy and the global minimum tax I think yahan pe answer aa gaya bhai ye gadbad ho gayi question mein gadbad ho gayi actually no problem chalo the pillar one is about reallocation of additional share of profit to the market jurisdiction while pillar 2 is about what to ab aapko pata chal gaya hai pillar 2 is about minimum tax theek hai i'll make changes in the pdf kya pe nahi hona chahiye tha answer pehle hi aapke samne aa gaya the correct answer is minimum tax but what are these pillar 2 and all iske bare mein hum discuss kar lete hain ek bar so first of all the news is national academy of direct taxes has organized india g20 south center event event on international taxation right and it was organized in nagpur only by National Academy uh, of Direct Taxes, which is located in Nagpur, of course. Now, why this event was organized? क्या इसका objective था? Objective था to deliberate on two pillar solution. Two pillar solution क्या है? आगे पढ़ेंगे. Two pillar solution on the taxation of digital economy and the global minimum tax. It was organized by National Academy of Direct Taxes, which is an apex training institute for the IRS officer, Indian Revenue Service officer. right and what is this south center by the way what is this south center so remember it is a geneva based uh, intergovernmental policy research think tank of 55 developing countries theek hai 55 developing countries ka ye group hai uh, it consists of the thing uh, you know the representatives from 55 developing uh, countries and it is basically <coughs> an environmental uh, intergovernmental policy think tank ठीक है नॉट एनवायरमेंटल सो टू पिलर सोल्यूशन वट इज इट सो टू पिलर सोल्यूशन इज एन इंक्लूसिव फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ ओईसीडी एंड जी ट्वेंटी सो ईओ ओईसीडी जी ट्वेंटी इंक्लूसिव फ्रेमवर्क ऑन बेस इरोजन एंड प्रॉफिट शिफ्टिंग हैज एग्रीड ऑन टू पिलर सोल्यूशन सो दैट वी कैन एड्रेस टैक्स चैलेंजेस अराइजिंग फ्रॉम द डिजिटलाइजेशन ऑफ द इकोनॉमी अब हम सब लोग डिजिटलाइजेशन की तरफ बढ़ रहे हैं सो देर आर वेरियस टैक्स चैलेंजेस देर सो टू टैकल दैट Uh, to tackle all those tax challenges this two pillar solution has been uh, accepted has been agreed upon by oecd and g20 now pillar 1 and pillar 2 what are these pillar 1 is about reallocation of additional share of profit and market uh, to the market jurisdiction it seeks to ensure fairer distribution of profits and thereby taxing rights right and pillar 2 is about the minimum tax 
विच सीक्स टू पुट मिनिमम स्टैंडर्ड टैक्स रेट अमंग कंट्रीज थ्रू ग्लोबल मिनिमम कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स आई होप दिस इज क्लियर पिलर टू टॉक्स अबाउट द मिनिमम टैक्स विच सीक्स टू पुट मिनिमम स्टैंडर्ड टैक्स रेट ये याद रखना मिनिमम स्टैंडर्ड टैक्स रेट अमंग कंट्रीज थ्रू अ ग्लोबल मिनिमम कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स ठीक है जी सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट इट एंड नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन तो करेक्ट आंसर पहले ही पता चल गया था मिनिमम टैक्स इज द करेक्ट आंसर लेट्स टॉक अबाउट क्वेश्चन नंबर एट देन विच डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म हैज बिन डिमोन्स्ट्रेटेड ड्यूरिंग सिटी रिसाइक्लर कनेक्ट वर्कशॉप टू एनेबल सिटी एंड रिसाइक्लिंग मार्केट कनेक्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस सिटी रिसाइक्लर कनेक्ट वर्कशॉप सिटी रिसाइक्लर कनेक्ट वर्कशॉप इट वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स इन कोलेबोरेशन विद जिज वट इज जिज जर्मन डेवलपमेंट कोऑपरेशन राइट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ये भी आपसे पूछा जा सकता है सो मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स इज हेडेड बाय मिस्टर हरदीप सिंह पुरी हु इज ऑल्सो द मिनिस्टर ऑफ पेट्रोलियम एंड नेचुरल गैस नाउ दिस वर्कशॉप वाई इट वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज इट वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज टू सपोर्ट सिटीज इन इफेक्टिवली अंडरटेक Recycling and repurposing of material and strengthening their forward linkages in line with Swachh Bharat Mission Urban 2.0's vision, right? And what is the mission of vision and mission of Swachh Bharat Urban 2.0? Garbage free cities, right? What is the vision and mission? The overall, the major vision of Swachh Bharat Mission Urban 2.0 is to make all the cities garbage free, right? And how we can do that by सॉलिड एंड लिक्विड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट ठीक है नाउ इट हैज बिन लॉन्च एज पार्ट ऑफ मेरी लाइफ मेरा स्वच्छ शहर कैंपेन ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम हाउसिंग इन अर्बन अफेयर दिस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द प्रीवियस मंथ ओनली मे में ही ये कैंपेन लॉन्च हुआ है और उसके अंडर ये वर्कशॉप ऑर्गेनाइज करा गया राइट एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस वर्कशॉप संसाधन डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म संसाधन डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म वॉज डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट टू एनेबल सिटी एंड रिसाइकलिंग द मार्केट कनेक्ट एंड नॉट ओनली दिस a best practice document on 3 hours what is what is this uh, what are these 3 hours reduce reuse and recycle so a best practice document on 3 hours was also released for helping cities and states to formulate appropriate strategy regarding 3 hours how they can implement effectively 3 hours in the cities in the states right uske regarding this document was released and this document will act as a reference document right for the states and cities so that they can इंप्लीमेंट द इफेक्टिव स्ट्रैटेजी रिगार्डिंग थ्री आर्स ठीक है सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर सो विच डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म इज इट संसाधन डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन कोलेबोरेशन विद ऑन्टरप्रिनरशिप डेवलपमेंट इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंडिया हैज लॉन्च हंड्रेड ऑन्टरप्रिनरशिप अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम फॉर पोटेंशियल वुमेन ऑन्टरप्रिनर्स अक्रॉस द कंट्री ठीक है, वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वुमेन बट अगेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑन्टरप्रिनरशिप एज वेल सो द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कैन बी नेशनल कमीशन फॉर वुमेन विच इज इन दी ऑप्शन इट कैन बी डीपीआईआईटी इट कैन बी सिट बी इट कैन बी नीति आयोग एनी ऑफ देम बट हेयर रिमेंबर दिस वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज दिस वॉज यू नो लॉन्च बाय नेशनल कमीशन फॉर वुमेन राइट नेशनल कमीशन फॉर वुमेन आगे चलते हैं बात कर लेते हैं न्यूज की देन वी विल कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन so national commission for women in collaboration with entrepreneurship development institute of india entrepreneurship development institute of india ke sath collaborate karke the national commission for women has launched 100 entrepreneurship awareness uh, program for potential women entrepreneurs across the country right objective kya hai iska what is the objective the objective is to develop very simple kya objective hoga entrepreneurship awareness program ka batao यही तो होगा कि टू डेवलप दी ऑन्टरप्रिनरशिप स्किल्स अमंग द पोटेंशियल वुमेन ऑन्टरप्रिनर्स दैट्स इट दैट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव राइट द फर्स्ट एनवायरमेंट द फर्स्ट बार बार आज एनवायरमेंट आ रहा है मूव में आई डोंट नो बिकॉज अभी अभी वर्ल्ड एनवायरमेंट डे गया है आई गेस इसलिए द फर्स्ट ई एपी ऑन्टरप्रिनरशिप अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड द फर्स्ट द वेरी फर्स्ट वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज एट विक्रम यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ उज्जैन एंड ऑफकोर्स यू ऑल नो उज्जैन इज इन मध्य प्रदेश and it seeks to orient uh, the women entrepreneurs so that they can have the benefits of adopting entrepreneurship as a career learning the finer skills and overcoming social 
पोलिट सोशल इकोनॉमिक एंड फैमिली बैरियर्स टू बिकम ऑन्टरप्रेनर्स ठीक है जी सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दिस न्यूज गाइज एंड लेट्स कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन Which organization is this? National Commission for Women. I already told you the answer. Option B is the correct answer. And let's move ahead to the question number ten. Abda Mitra Scheme, which is scheme for training of community volunteers in disaster management, uh, disaster response, is being implemented by NDMA, which works, of course, under the Ministry of Home Affairs. Uh, will train how many community volunteers in how many selected? highly vulnerable districts which are prone to flood cyclone landslide and earthquake in the country right so there was a meeting held under this scheme that's why it is in news and that is why we are discussing it so let's talk about abda mitra scheme remember abda mitra abda means disaster and mitra means friend and here friend signifies volunteers so the objective of this particular uh, scheme is to provide community volunteers with skills to respond to their communities immediate disaster koi bhi agar immediate disaster aaya hai jo koi agar immediate need aayi hai in the case of disaster in response to a disaster so these volunteers will take charge right to enable them to undertake basic relief and rescue tasks during emergency situation or disasters it was launched in the year 2016 2016 mein isko launch kiya gaya tha by the ministry of home affairs and the nodal implementing agencies ndma and remember it is a central sector scheme which means the entire funding is provided by the by the government of india what are central sector schemes where 100% funding is provided by the government of india and what are centrally sponsored schemes where the funding is shared between center and states jahan pe funding share hoti hai center aur states ke beech mein all right and the target Under this, Abda Mitra scheme is to train one lakh volunteers in three hundred and fifty, one lakh community volunteers in three hundred and fifty selected highly vulnerable districts to flood, highly vulnerable districts to earthquake and other natural disasters. All right. So I hope this is also clear. So what will be the correct answer? One lakh community volunteers will be trained in three hundred and fifty. 350 selected districts in the country. So the correct answer will be option B. Option B is the correct answer, boys and girls. So now let's talk about the questions in short. But before that, if you want to have the PDF of this class, you can join the Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. Description में जाओ, आपको link मिल जाएगा. Question number 11. Which e-learning app has been launched? By FSSAI, Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, containing learning and training modules about food safety guidelines. So you just have to name this app, which has been launched by FSSAI. This app is Fostack. Option E. Fostack is the correct answer. Question number twelve. How many Indian standards related to Ayush herbs and products have been notified so far by BIS? Very important question. कितने स्टैंडर्ड्स को बीआईएस uh, ने अभी तक नोटिफाई किया है विच आर रिलेटेड टू आयुष हर्ब्स एंड प्रोडक्ट्स सो द नंबर इज 31 ऑप्शन ई इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर 13 विद विच कंट्री एज इंडिया साइंड एमओयू फॉर डेवलपमेंट ऑफ फुकोट करनाली फुकोट करनाली हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ द कैपेसिटी ऑफ फोर मेगावाट विच कंट्री इज दिस कैन यू टेल मी द आंसर Yes, it is Nepal. Option D is the correct answer. Question number fourteen: With which state has NTPC Green Energy Limited has signed an MOU to collaborate in development of renewable energy parks and projects, and to facilitate in central government's efforts towards energy transition? Can you name the state? Yes, the state in question is Uttar Pradesh. Option A is the correct answer. Question number fifteen: Where has National Institute of Public Cooperation and Child Development, under the Ministry of Women and Child Development, headed by Smriti Irani, organized a refresher training program on Mission Matsalya? Mission Matsalya I have discussed in the previous government scheme class only. So if you want to know the details of Mission Matsalya, you can watch that revision class, class number four. Right. So 
where it is where it was organized it was organized in mohali option c is the correct answer whereas minister of textiles in partnership with indian technical textile association and wool research association organized national conclave on sportec on the theme the future of sport textile and accessories industry in india which ministry is this uh, where it was organized it was organized by ministry of textiles headed by piyush goel in new delhi the capital of india option e is the correct answer question number 17 how much percent very very important question bahut important question hai ye how much percent and generally i do not take the monthly data but since the exam is very near so they can ask you the monthly data as well so which uh, how much percent of wage payment has been made through aadhar payment bridge system under manrega scheme in the month of may 2023 so it is asking only about the month of may 2023 and if this question comes in examination they will also mention the month don't worry so it is 88% option b 88% is the correct answer question number 18 india has successfully conducted asia's first demonstration for performance based navigation for helicopters using gagan which is gps aided geo augmented navigation satellite technology on which route this demonstration flight uh, took place so it was from juhu to pune juhu is in mumbai i hope you all know this hindi movies mein aapne zarur suna hoga juhu chopati ke bare mein question number 19 where was aware has swanidhi mahotsav it should be v swanidhi mahotsav been organized to honor beneficiaries of pm swanidhi yojana for their outstanding contribution in motivate in contrib, uh, motivating maximum loan uh, disbursement and digital transactions theek okay, hai so it was organized in itawa where it is our itawa can you name uh, the state itawa is in uttar pradesh right and the last question for today ministry of consumer affairs food and public distribution has issued removal of licensing requirements stock limits and movement restrictions on specified food stuffs amendment order 2023 to prevent hoarding and unsurplus speculation and also to improve affordability to the consumers of which pulses kaun si do pulses ke liye hua hai so it is for tur and urad this question is very important for the nabard people nabard ke logo ke liye bahut zyada important hai theek hai so one and three is the correct answer option c okay guys so that is all for today's class i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section and i will see you in the next class on friday goodbye take care and god bless